An international conference in Oxford this weekend will discuss a new theory to explain the circles, of which there are apparently more this year than ever before. But that may be because more have been reported as a result of increased public interest, and that public interest is now worrying farmers. This circle in a Wiltshire field is just one of 200 such markings to have been discovered in the last six weeks. To farmers and scientists, how they're formed or by whom remains a big mystery. More are being discovered all the time. Today, alongside the tracks of farm machinery, a new set of circles were found. No human tracks lead to the markings. Colin Andrews has been trying for a decade to find an answer, but admits that the more he probes, the more bizarre it all becomes. This is indeed a mystery. I've dealt with, worked with, at least 50 scientists uh, and engineers on this over the last nearly 10 years, and there's nobody in the world that's anywhere near an answer to account for this. I believe we're looking at some form of intelligence. A supernatural phenomenon. There may be, there, there may be some supernatural connection here. The circles are found in many parts of the world but they're most common in the fields of central and southern England. The theories are varied and controversial. One is that they're caused by fungi, but the problems with that is that the circles are too perfect and made with too much force. Another is that they're caused by helicopters or even unknown military or alien craft. But again, the circles are too regular, often appear under cables, and there have been no sightings. Some have said they're caused by small typhoons of air, but again, the circles appear in all weathers. But the new theory being put forward is they're caused by typhoons of electrical charges, which account for the orange lights often seen and the whining sound sometimes heard. Local farmers used to believe it was all a hoax, though they now accept that that theory is discredited and they back calls for further scientific investigation. There seems to be no real coordination between the, the groups that seem to have sprung up. I mean, there are so many different theories that perhaps somebody ought to take the lead role in uh, coordinating research on a proper basis. Farmers have also warned that their crops are being damaged by hundreds of people flocking to see these so-called magic circles for themselves. On the eve of the first international conference on the problem, many scientists now accept that the mystery needs serious scientific attention. Robert Moore, News at 10, Wiltshire.